Welcome back to Always Dolls. This is Sarah and I'm glad you're here. Today, we show you how to make a doll-sized version of a popular Aussie summer food, fish and chips. Serve your dolls a scrumptious battered fish with golden crispy potato chips. It's the perfect meal during a day at the beach. If you enjoy this video, we'd love it if you hit the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a new DIY. Okay, let's get making! For the fish, we are using Crayola Model Magic Air Dry Clay in the shade Natural Bisque. Pinch off a small portion and roll into a log that is as thick as your index finger and about 6 cm long. Next, roll the log into a flat oval shape. Now take a plastic knife and slice one end on an angle. Cut both sides of the clay on a curve, meeting at a point at the other end of the clay. Use your fingertips to gently smooth the cut edges and elongate the tip of the fish. Texture your clay using a ball of aluminium foil. Press firmly on the top, then pat the sides with the foil. Leave overnight to dry out and harden. Now take a warm golden brown coloured paint and give the fish portion an all over base coat. When the top surface has dried, flip over and paint the bottom too. Next, take a darker red brown paint to lightly shade the edges and the top centre for a deep fried appearance. Once again, be sure to paint the underside of your fish portion. To seal in the colour, give your fish a coat or two of matte Mod Podge. While the glaze is still wet, we placed two slices from a polymer clay lemon cane onto our fish for garnish. Now let's make chips! Take a small pinch of white Model Magic clay and roll a ball about the size of a 5 cent piece. Press the ball flat with your finger before rolling it even flatter with a rolling tool. To have a generous serving of chips, we made four of these discs. Let them partially dry so the clay's surface is firm but not so sticky. Use scissors to cut your clay into thin, thin slices. Begin clustering the chips together, placing them in random directions and mixing up the long and short pieces. Use your fish portion for reference to ensure the pile of chips is slightly longer and wider. Give the chips a coat of yellow paint. Aim to get the brush in between to cover all visible areas. And don't forget to paint the underside too. For that added golden glow, we used the colour Raw Sienna. With a dry brush technique, apply just a touch of this paint to the edges and tips of some chips. If you happen to put too much, don't worry, you can blend it away using a little more yellow paint. This is what we have so far. However, if you'd like your dolls to hold an individual chip, let the clay completely dry out, then place it on a strip of temporary tape to hold it still while you paint. For presentation, we cut squares of white tissue paper saved from packaging. Glue a few layers of tissue paper together, rotating the top square layers 90 degrees as seen on screen. Lay the paper on a platter, then your chip cluster, followed by your battered fish. Mmm! It may be cold here, but at least our dolls can enjoy this delicious, crispy, crunchy delight by the seaside. Thanks so much for joining me today, and see you again soon for more miniature crafting fun!